Hey guys, Matt with Atlas Precision Consulting here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about real quick how to enter an RMA or a return uh, for another word. Um, first thing I wanna call out though is there are a couple settings under order processing RMA in the system settings. Um, the most important one I think is linking to an original order. Most people want to do a return based on an original invoice. You can prompt, you can make it mandatory. I at least recommend prompting. You also have an option here if you want to allow, hey, I only bought five on this order, uh, but I have 10 I'm returning that I have purchased from you in the past. Uh, you can, with this enabled, you can allow them to return more than the, was on the original invoice. Expiration date, pretty self-explanatory. When I create a RMA, by default, it's going to go out a year. Uh, so if it is not uh, used within that year, if we have not received that RMA, then it just expires. Um, and let's move on. We're gonna enter in our customer ID of who we want to return. You're also gonna to wanna to enter in the, the location that you're trying to return the inventory back to. Um, and you're also gonna to need to enter the ship to in. If you try to link to a invoice, but you don't have a ship to in here, or you don't have the correct one, it's gonna give you an error and say, hey, you don't have it matched. Are you sure you wanna do this? Always good practice to make sure you have that ship to ID in front of you. Hopefully you have um, the order uh, information in front of you. So that's why you're creating this RMA. Um, we're gonna come down here. We don't have any other fields on ours that are required. And we're not really gonna go through all these different tabs. Uh, but I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put bolt one in here. And you'll see it ask me immediately, do you want to link uh, to an invoice line? Now this tripped me up for a while when I first got into P21. You say yes, thinking maybe there's a wizard that's gonna pop up something for you to select what it does is it takes you to the sales history it doesn't have a checkbox. There, there, there's nothing that calls out for you for for what you are supposed to do what you're supposed to do is if this had been a customer buying this a lot there'd be a lot of invoices we're going to find the correct one and then we're going to right click on it and then we're going to choose to link to this rma uh, again if we had a different ship to it, it would give us an error uh, but it should bring over the pricing that you had on that invoice. So that should uh, match one to one. Uh, now, by default, there's really nothing else that's required in here. Um, the Most of the requirement stuff comes into play when you're receiving an RMA, which I'm going to cover in a second video. Um, but depending on your environment, you may have some, some different options set up. Uh, one last thing I, I will call out is just like in a sales order, I would go to the front counter tab and I want to print or email this RMA acknowledgement uh, to my customer or my contact uh, if I have put one on here, um, just so they can have that paper copy. Um, and that's just like printing a pick ticket or a sales order acknowledgement from within sales order entry. Um, if you guys like this type of content, you have questions, you wanna see different videos, please put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas will be there for your P21 needs. Thanks, guys.